Hey guys and welcome to this new video and in this video I am going to discuss about what is a view model and how is it useful for us. This is also a frequently asked question during the android interview and as you know this video is a part of the series and you can find the playlist link in the description below android interview questions and answers. So let's begin how can we define the view model. So view model is a class that holds the state of the UI and it exposes the state to the UI. Also the view model class encapsulates the business logic. Generally we write business logic in the data layer but in some cases for example you need to get data from multiple sources and you need to combine those data or you need to filter from those data. What will you do? You will write those business logic inside the view model so that your view model can use multiple repository or the multiple sources and write those logic there and you can combine or filter out the data and you can show it into the UI. So this view model class caches the state and persists it during the configuration changes. For example, orientation changes which is an example of configuration changes. So when we talk about the configuration changes, the perfect example is orientation changes and that is screen rotation. Suppose for example an application fetches the data from the network and it gets the success response and it shows the data into the UI and after that we change the orientation right so in that case what will happen the view model will persist the data so you don't have to make the network call again right otherwise if you do not use the view model you will have to make the network call again or you have to cache the data at some places right so view model makes it easier for us. So in case of orientation changes, it persists the data for us. So now let's discuss how is it useful. First pointer we have already discussed which is it handles the configuration changes. For example, orientation changes which is screen rotation. Second point, life cycle awareness. We have to very very specific here what we mean by this life cycle awareness. It means that the view model gets destroyed only when the owner of the view model permanently gets destroyed. For example, if we are using an activity, so in that activity it will have a view model associated with that activity. So when we change the orientation, the activity is not permanently getting destroyed. So in that case the view model should persist. So it will not get destroyed. But if we finish the activity and move to the next activity, in that case the view model will get destroyed because the activity is finished and destroyed. This is how a view model is very useful for us. If we do not use the view model, we will have to cache the data or persist the data at some place so that we can handle the configuration changes, for example the orientation changes which is screen rotation. right? So view model is going to help us very easily because it makes our life easier. One question that can be asked here is that how can we achieve the same without using the view model. One answer could be you can use the saved instance. So in this case you will save the data using the saved instance and you will retrieve the data using that. So basically here you put the data inside the bundle and you get it from the bundle. So in that bundle you can only store small data. You can't store a large list. So for that view model should be used. So now we know what is a view model and how is it useful. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel and also let me know the topic on which you want me to create the video. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video.